In this video, I'm going to take you through how to increase and decrease in a given ratio. This is a really popular type of GCSE and IGCSE question. Um, I'm going to take you straight into the trick. Um, this is the easiest, easiest way to answer these questions. Um, if you're faced with an increase question, so you're given a ratio and you're asked to increase an amount by a given ratio, then um, all you need to do is to remember that you are going to multiply by big over small. Okay, <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. And if you're going to decrease, um, then you're going to multiply by small over big. Let me give you an example of that. So let's just put that in a box so that it's nice and clear. Um, oh, that's what's going on there. Um, I might just make it into a nice yellow. Make it stand out a bit. Okay, so um, basically, Imagine that you were given, um, e.g., increase um, 40 pounds in the ratio four to five. Okay, all you would do then is look at the look at the ratio. You've got a big number, you've got a small number, or a bigger number, small number. Okay, all you need to do then is 40 pounds multiplied by big over small, multiplied by five over four in this case which is equal to 50 pounds, yeah? Okay, that's all you need to do. If it were a decrease question, then you guessed it, all you need to do, um, so it's the same question, but just decrease, then you would just go 40 pounds times four over five, uh, which would be equal to, 32 pounds. Okay, and the way that, you know, the way that we may, might be able to understand why this works is that five over four as a decimal is 1.25. That's an increase, isn't it? It's an increase. Any, any multiplier that's one point something or greater than one is an increase. And here, four fifths is 0 0.8. So again, it's less than one, um, therefore it's a decrease. Okay, so let's look at some more examples, some more sort of contextual questions. Whoops. Um, example one, Jack has 200 milliliters of iced coffee from Bake, I guess this is his cafe here, on Monday. On Tuesday, he, sorry, not she, I changed that, he increases this quantity um, in the ratio five to four. What is the total quantity of iced coffee consumed by Jack over Monday and Tuesday? Um, so, same thing. So it's an increase. Okay, so it's big over small. So we're going to go 200 mils times by 5 over 4, which is going to give us, I think, 250 mils. Okay, but then we need to read the question properly. We haven't finished. Um, we had, on Monday, had 200 mils. On Tuesday, 250 mils. What was the total quantity consumed over Monday and Tuesday? So therefore, total quantity is going to be 200 plus 250, which is 450 mils. Almost half a litre of iced coffee. <laughs> Perhaps that's healthy. Perhaps not. Um, okay, let's go. Um, next, example two. Susie decreases her screen time, being mindful of her, from a daily average of 2.25 hours a day in the ratio 13 to 17. How many minutes does she now spend on average per day? Right, now then, in this one, um, we're going to have to think about it. 2.25 hours. Now, you've got to think 2.25 hours. We've got, we've got an option here. It's asking us in minutes at the end. So one of our options is to automatically think about changing this into minutes. And I would probably do that myself. So all I need to do is do 2.25 multiplied by 60. And I can see that's 135 minutes. Okay, all right, now I'm going to use that and it's going to take me straight to the answer. Okay, so once how many minutes? So 135, she decreases her screen time, therefore I'm going to do small over big. I'm going to times that by 13 seventeenths, which is equal to an answer of 103.2352941. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for three significant figures. So 103 minutes she spends now on average per day. 
So a couple of just typical questions, decreasing there in a given ratio and previously increasing in a given ratio using our trick. Okay, don't forget the trick. These are common questions, as I mentioned, at IGCSE and GCSE level. So if you've enjoyed my video, please don't forget to subscribe. It does help others to find me too, it really helps me out and motivates me too. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good day.